Hi, and welcome to Yoga with Bex. This is Yoga for Work Party Stress. I'm Becca, and today I'm in the Dominican Republic. Spinal safety awareness, this practice does not have any forward flexion, but does have a twist. Please read the description below before starting. Now grab your mat, and let's find your space. Okay, let's start with Hashta Uttanasana. It's the first pose from Sun Salutation. I'm going to turn to this side so you can see. Just standing tall, feet grounded, really connecting through all four corners of your feet into the ground. Pushing down through the legs, rising up tall through the spine, opening up through the chest. You can close your eyes here, take a breath. Bring your mind into the present moment, focusing on your practice. Now open your eyes, bring your hands into a prayer, into Namaste. And let's take a deep breath in. We swing our arms down to rise them up. Palms are facing forward, all the way up, 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 and then lean back a little upper body opening up to the chest, hips staying forward, looking up to the sky, and coming back down, deep breath out, arms all the way down, and back into prayer. Very nice. And again, deep breath in, swinging the arms down to come up, palms facing forward, rising up tall, Hips staying forward, leaning back to the upper body, looking up to the sky, relaxing through that neck, and take a deep breath out, arms coming down, and back into prayer. And again, deep breath in, rising up through the spine, extending up and back, engage that core, and then coming back, forward, arms swing all the way down, and back into prayer. And again, deep breath in, rising up, leaning back, looking up, extending, breathing out to come back, arms all the way down, rising up tall. And let's do one more time. Swing your arms down, rise them up, Extend up to the spine, engage those legs, leaning back. And then breathing out to come back to Namaste. Now let's step into Warrior Two, Vira Badrasana Two. Come forward to the front of your mat. Take a big step out with one leg. Nice wide step, bigger than the length of one of your legs. Heels are aligned, back leg is out. Front leg is facing forward, back leg to the side. Hips are to the side, rising up tall. Really connect those feet into the ground. Bend your front leg. Arms coming up to parallel and looking out over the fingertips of your front hand. Let's take hold here for one. And two. We're doing warrior pose to gather strength. And three, for all that small talk, all the smiling. And four, and five. Now straighten that front leg. Lower your arms, let's swing around to the other side. My back leg is coming now to the side. My front leg, my new front leg, <laughs> is coming to face forward. Hips are facing the side. Bend your front knee, rising your arms up to parallel to the ground, looking out over your front fingertips. And let's hold for one. 
and two, building up that strength, finding it deep within, and two, feeling that strength from within spread throughout your entire body, pressing those feet apart, pressing the mat apart, and three, and three, and four, gently breathing, and five, and now straighten that front leg, arms down, come back to the other, the front of your mat, feet together, beautiful. Now let's do Anjay, Anjanayasana. Now let's do Anjanayasana, a low lunge. So again, I'm going to step back. Nice big step back, but I'm going to keep my hips forward. Back on the back toe. Rising up tall. I'm going to lower that knee down to the ground. Make sure you've got a nice wide enough stance here that your knee has like a good like right angles at least. You want to lean forward a little bit for this. Release your back toes. Make sure there's still a little distance between your two legs that you're not trying to do it all in one line because your hips have distance. From here, <clears throat> let your hips sink down into the ground. Check that your knee isn't going out over your toes. Arms coming up. Connect your palms up top. Look up at your palms. Breathe and let those hips sink into the ground. Little hold for one. And two. And three. Rising up through the spine, extending up, pressing into the, your foot, front foot, to your back knee. If you need to roll the mat under to protect that knee, you can roll the mat under. Give a little padding. That's four. And five. Bring the arms down. Come back up. Bring your weight back. Bring your knees together. Keep your knees hip, hip width apart. And then let's step forward the other leg to the other side. Nice and far forward. Let your hips come forward, sinking down. Protect that knee, roll your mat under if you need. Bring your arms up overhead. Looking up, palms pressing together. Stretch your legs in each direction and let those hips sink down. Extending up through the spine. I'll hold for one. And two. And three. And four. And five. Bring your weight back, arms coming down, knees together. Beautiful. Okay, so join me down on hands and knees now. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Find your neutral spine. And do a little shoulder stretching. Get all that work tension out. I'm gonna start, bring my left arm up. I'm gonna look up at my arm, opening up to the chest to the side. And then I'm gonna breathe out, swing the arm through this little window. And twist. Breathing in, coming up, opening up. Breathing out, swing the arm through that window and twist. Hips are staying in the same place as much as possible. Breathing in, coming up. And breathing out, sw twisting through that window. One more time, breathing in to come up, opening up to the chest and breathing out. Bring this arm down, extend it out as far as it can go till you come down on your shoulder. Neck is relaxed. 
from here, hips are staying in alignment. Your weight is on your shoulder. You can keep your right hand either on the ground here for support, or if you'd like, you can twist it around behind you, connect it in at the hip. And that little crease in your hip. Let's hold for one. You should feel a nice stretch of the shoulder here. If it feels too tight, if it doesn't feel right, try starting again. Really extend the arm out to the side before coming down. That's two. Gentle breathing. Breathe into that shoulder. And three. And then gently come back out. Push yourself up. Coming back to all fours. And the other side. Finding neutral spine. Next time bringing the right arm up, opening up through the chest, looking up, breathing out, swing the arm through and twist. Breathing in to stretch up and open. Breathing out to twist to the side. Hips are staying in alignment. Again, breathing in to rise up. Breathing out to twist through the window. Last time, breathing in to open up. And breathe out. Extend your arm out as far as it can go so that you come down onto your shoulder on the mat. Hips are staying in alignment. Check that your neck is comfortable. And just let your weight sit on that shoulder. It should be a nice, comfortable stretch. You can bring that other arm around if you'd like and twist around, connect into your hip crease. Let's hold for one. And two, opening up through the chest. And two, and three, and coming out, bring that arm back around if it's been twisted up, use your left arm to press up, coming back to all fours. Now let's lower down onto our stomachs and do a little cobra. Arms are by your shoulders, close into your chest, elbows by your side. Let's bring our feet hip width to hip distance apart. Take a deep breath in. I'm going to extend through that spine, straight, 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 and then pressing through the hand palms, rising up, opening up the chest, looking forward. Let's hold for one. Shoulders are wide. Neck should be comfortable, and two, and three, and gently lower down. Bring your head to one side. Take a breath here. Let's do cobra again. Hands by our sides, just below the shoulders, right around there. Extending out of the spine, deep breath in, press through the palms, opening up through the chest, and hold for one, and two, and three, and gently coming back down. Now we're going to do bow pose. This is an excellent pose to really build strength and and then charge forward. So this is what we're doing today to get ready for that work party. So let's bend our knees, feet coming up. I'm going to reach back with my right hand, grab a hold of my right foot. Same with the left, left hand, left foot. A nice connection there. From here, we're going to pull our legs away apart, our shoulders apart, arms apart. Really put this connection here between feet and hands, pulling away and then rising up. And that movement up should bring your legs, eyes up, your chest up. You can look forward and come up a little or come up a lot. 
Let's hold for one, opening up through the chest. Looking forward, rising up, and two, extending out the legs and the spine. And three, and gently lowering down. Bring your head to one side, relax all the way down. Take a breath here. And one more time, bend those knees, grab a hold of your feet, connect, press apart, rise up, open up to the chest and hold for one, and two, building up all that energy to release later, and three, And relax down, release, head to one side, take a breath here, oh, beautiful, now pressing back up, let's come back up to standing, we'll finish with Tadasana, okay, let's finish off with a little mountain pose, feet together, toes together, heels apart, Feet nice and grounded, rising up tall through the spine. Close your eyes, legs engaged, gently pressing into the ground. Upper body rising up tall, arms are relaxed by your side. Take a few deep breaths here. And reflect on how your body feels after this practice how your mind feels. It's a sensation you want to hold on to for the rest of the day. Take one more deep breath. Open your eyes gently. Bring your hands into prayer. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear how your work party went. And join me over on my Instagram. I have a lot more content for you. The link is below. Have a beautiful day.